Hey everyone, how you doing? It is Thursday. <laughs> I had to think about it. It is Thursday, July 28th, and uh, things are going good. Hope you're all doing well. Shaka. And um, I do that so poorly. Shaka. I've been, I was, when I first moved to Hawaii, it took me forever to figure out exactly what the right angles for doing this to people are. Uh, it's not my native culture, right? So, um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about, well first, I did another time-lapse uh, digital drawing and it went better than yesterday's. I, I did some of what I said, talked about yesterday, but I realized that, well you know what, first I'll just show it to you. You can check it out, here you go, boom. Okay, so as you saw, that, that took me almost exactly one hour. So I only spent about an hour on these just to sort of chunk them out and practice the technique. And I got some more, I, I had some more epiphanies about the process. And one of the things I realized is that instead of, um, I did the sketch, kind of the outline sketch of the, of the boy's face. And then I started to do the painting right away. I think instead, and then I went, and I took the painting away and then I started doing line drawings to fill in the detail a little bit. And then I went back in with the paint. And I think that's a, a better process. I also realized I was using sort of a, the weird brush. I was using the airbrush when I should have used the, um, for what I want to do a little more chalky thing without, with less opacity. So I kind of had the settings messed up, but it's a process. And I learned a lot from doing the second one so next will be the third one and i think i'll get even better um so you know right now is a good time for me to practice these because i'm sort of in a slight lull right before school starts once school starts i'm going to be chock busy um chock full of busyness in hawaii they say choke i'm choke busy or choke choke something choke means you're so full of something that it makes you choke kind of thing, right? You're just full of it. So I'll be really busy uh, in about three weeks from now. But between now and then, I have a little more time where my work is um, not overwhelming right now, and I have a few other things going on, but none of them are such that I can't handle it. Also, once school starts, these will probably become a lot shorter. I'll probably be like, hey everyone, how's it going? I'm fine, see you later. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, today's three weeks, by the way. Three weeks of doing this. 
Woo! Uh, this is number 21, which is amazing. Um, this is way more consistent than I've been with a lot of things. Um, and uh, yeah, and it also marks three weeks from, from about when I started doing the weight loss thing, the slow carb thing, which is going really well. I'm now at the lowest weight I've been in like in a while. Um, and it's hard to sell. So one thing I wanted to talk about after that drawing thing, so that's that was just a bonus. But what I want to talk about is the way that I lose weight. Everyone's body is different. Everyone's body, you lose weight at different uh, speeds and times and in different parts of your body. So this is only relating to me really. But for me, there's a very specific weight, like a poundage, that when I get to it, that's the point at which people look at me and say, hey, have you lost weight? Before that weight, anything above that weight, even if I got a pound above that weight, for some reason, nobody notices anything. But as soon as I hit that weight, boom, suddenly my body does something weird. And people are like, hey, you look like you lost some weight. I tend to lose it in my face first, because this is where I keep a lot of stuff in here. So my face tends to thin out a little bit first, and my stomach tends to thin out a little bit first. Um, so those will be the first things I'll notice. Uh, and then pants start to fit a little better, <laughs> which will be nice. Um, but I would say probably in another month or maybe two weeks, two to, two to four weeks, people will start to notice and say something. But right now, no one's going to say anything yet because it, the weight isn't as dramatic as it will be. And also, um, I'm not at that number yet. That number is still uh, maybe 10 pounds away. So once I get another 10 pounds off in about two to four weeks from now, I would say, then that'll work. Um, knowing the way my body loses weight too and having done the slow car before I know that I will get to uh, right now I'm, I'm averaging about two to three pounds a week the first month is usually like that I usually do pretty well the first month after that it starts to slow down so maybe the second month it'll be like two pounds a week and I'll do that for a couple months and then it'll go down to one pound a week or four pounds a month maybe five, four pounds a month, three pounds a month, two pounds a month. So by, um, and I, I mentioned this before too, but I'm re reiterating because we're talking about it. But uh, towards uh, next summer, about a year from now, I'll be down to like a pound a month and I'll be happy about that. Um, but I'll be closer to my goal weight, so that's cool. But right now, if you do the math, you figure out how much I'm trying to lose. <laughs> uh, but right now I'm, I'm at about a two to three pound per month, uh, per week uh, drop. Um, which is great because I got a lot to lose and in about a month people start to notice um, and there's also a very specific weight under which Wushu becomes more comfortable for me so one of the reasons I'm not training Wushu right now is because my weight makes it challenging and it's very uncomfortable especially on my knees my legs my joints um, just in general, like doing Zhang Ti Tui, the front stretch kick, I got too much gut in the way. So it actually hurts. It's hard to do kicks because I got my stomach's in the way. So once my stomach goes down, the kicks become a lot easier. Uh, is this too much information, TMI? Uh, so that's part of the process. Got to lose weight. Um, and then I have sort of markers. So when I get to that certain weight point, then I know I can start doing X exercise again. Like I can start... Uh, walking and then I can start jogging and then I can start um, doing wushu again and then I can start doing X and Y and Z and so I have these markers that I know at very specific weights I can start to do those things again uh, which would be cool so um, based on my calculations I think probably by um, early to mid fall I'll be able to go back to wushu to some degree but I'm not really planning it until the semester's over so once the semester's over, then I'll start coming, going back into Wushu. I might start doing basics a little bit before the semester's over, like a month before, so I can get my body back into use, used to doing basics and stuff again. But doing Tai Chi in the meantime is really helping. It's keeping my legs solid. I'm still doing weights at the gym, uh, the 5x5, strong list 5x5, uh, in, in case you're curious, uh, but it's, it, which is great for just fundamental compound strength development. Um, and Ruhi's been doing it with me and she's getting stronger too, I can tell. And um, yeah, so it's kind of windy. The trade winds are back. The storm passed a couple days ago. The trade winds came back. So it's actually bearable in the house now. If you keep the door open and have a fan on you, uh, it's not too hot. So it's kind of nice actually. Anyway, um, 
I came back home because my laptop ran out of battery at the library when I was working there. It's two o'clock. Have a book eight tonight. Uh, book eight is a Baha'i study uh, class that I'm helping facilitate, and that is at five o'clock. Five o'clock. That's at five o'clock. And wow, look at that line right, right there. Sorry, I hit the mic. Look at that fat line. Oh, that's ugly. Let's do this. Hi. Now I have a chin. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take all my videos at this angle because. That is not flattering. Let me get rid of that. Oh, that's terrible. Hi. It's like the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. So we'll just look at this. This looks better. Um, don't look at that stuff. That's stuff to get out of the house. So don't look there. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, hope you all have an awesome end of your week. Friday for a lot of you already. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be happy. Love you guys. Keep on. Keeping on.